You should have known better than to invite Americans into your suite, dude. We're very disruptive people. We try our best, but... <laughs> You're too old to be doing that. You're not old Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Oh, welcome back to the night shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in, man. Um, we're here in the streets of London proper right now, still. I, bro, I told you, don't fucking shoot the palm tree. They're not gonna believe that we're in London, dude. What's wrong with you? The regular trees, man. <laughs> fuck this. This is not gonna fucking work, bro. Fuck. Fuck. God. Fuck. We're in Los Angeles right now, okay? I wanted to pretend like we were still in London because I have footage from London that I wanted to use here. I just spent 20 minutes at the house watching a roadman training video. So when you want to say that something is cool, you can say like, don't say fun. Don't say fun. Then let's take a look at an example sentence. Your trainers are cool, mate. Hey, your crips are safe, fam. Hey, your crips are safe, man. Your trainers man. are cool, mate. Hey, your crips are safe, fam. Hey, your crips are safe, man. What, dude, what? Why is there an Asian dude explaining it, bro? How is that in any way? 96 degrees, I got the full track suit on, I got my safe crepes on. I think they're called crepes. Crepes, crepes, whatever the fuck they're called. I'm not a road man, you guys know that now. I'm a fucking man in the road. Listen, what I'm saying is this, bro. We have footage, fam. This is JJ's box. Oh. 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 Oh, wow. Dude, Kiss Eye is rich, bro. I've seen all these like UK like mob movies, and there's this one called uh, Rock and Rolla, where the dude, the Russian oligarch, he owns the soccer team, oh, yeah. and he has meetings at the stadium when it's completely empty up in his owner suite. All right, well, they do have a punching machine in the thing, so let's go smack it. Let's go. Dead ass, I have real PTSD from that. Oh, you ended up getting a bad case of uh, pussy traumatic stress syndrome? I'm so sorry. Wow. <laughs> all right, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> let's go, let's go. That a boy? Oh, oh, Mikey. No. You could beat this high score. That score was set by JJ KSI, buddy. That's it. It's over. That's it. It's a wrap. That's it. Can I try to beat it? Oh! Oh! Like Looks like the Americans are going home losers today. If we had one savior, that. Oh! No. Oh! No. George, George, no, I can't allow it. If I break my hand again, it was Mike's fault. We're all in up. I don't like no, it. Just get out. Just get out. I'll I really. Yo, my heart is beating. We are on what's called the pitch here right now. Take a second to take it in. Like, look around you, bro. You're on the field at one of the biggest football clubs in the world, bro. Maybe the biggest. Once again, another very surreal moment for a regular Connecticut, once drug addict, now on the field of Arsenal. Thanks very, very much to this No, don't guy, thank me, thank, thank JJ. On my last, uh, two videos ago, Emily Willis said she was a fan of yours. I'm gonna connect you. <laughs> your head looks so big in the frame. It's just like your big ass. <laughs> we went to a game in America, like, a couple videos ago. This is way different. There's a lot of bitches in here. For making it all possible. Even when I met that, that beautiful Italian girl last week and I fell in love, this moment's better. Our security guard decided he wanted to take a swing at it. He broke KSI's back, bro. He d actually broke the machine. It fell off. Not only did, he, not <laughs> only did he break the record, he broke the machine. You should have known better than to invite Americans into your suite, dude. We're very disruptive people. We try our best, but... <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. All right, Mike, so why don't you run us through what happened one more time? Well, it was a Tuesday just like any other. I was on the phone with manager Jeff talking about some urgent burger business. I was pacing around the house on the phone just like any other normal day, but this day was going to be far from normal. You see, 15 minutes earlier, David was eating his breakfast and had errantly disposed of his leftovers. And just like that, the unimaginable happened. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I'm saying a lot of pickles, not some pickles, like a lot of pickles. I thought it was over. I thought it was the end for sure. But then I remembered I just put on a brand new case from Casetify. And because of that, my phone was absolutely fine because Casetify offers products on the leading edge of phone protection tech. In fact, their new case for the iPhone 14 offers EcoShock technology with an increased drop height of 11.5 feet and has been tested to five times military grade, meaning it has been dropped over 130 times and still has not lost its protective effectiveness. They're sleek, they're high quality, and they come in a range of prints provided by partnered artists 
or you can go absolutely crazy and build one for yourself using the Casetify customizer tool. Whether you're upgrading your iPhone or not, head to casetify.com forward slash Mike to shop their iPhone 14 impact case series, as well as cases for iPhone 13 and earlier. So yeah, go to casetify.com forward slash Mike to get 15% off your order today and let's get back to the night shift, baby. We're back in Los Angeles, enough all the British stuff. We were there, it was great, but we also love being back home. After three, four months here, the furniture finally fucking came and it looks amazing. Couch from Resto, beautiful. It even came with a Mexican. And it came with a free Mexican, dude. Hola. Hola. Uh, okay, so then they have uh, this concrete table with the white chairs. I want to give you guys like a proper tour, but I don't think we're going to be able to do it right now because there's also a special guest in the guest room. It's a shithole. There's an Egyptian dog stuck in the... I am doing a house tour, okay? You just happen to be in the house, okay? Wait, she's okay? his beard? Yeah, what are you doing right now? Putting on makeup. I got, a pimple. I, I got a pimple on my neck. What if I get seen by the media and they say that guy has a pimple? Get rid, get rid, of, him. <laughs> get rid of him. How are you enjoying your stay? The bed is great. Mike made the necessary changes and requirements to make his friend happy. Great house. Thank you so much, buddy. Who is that right there? Not that butt, just behind it. That. <laughs> That's the president of Egypt, Anwar Sadat. I interview that dog. How are you doing? <laughs> Do you want a treat? Breakfast? You guys have to get the dog out of here. Yeah, I know. We oh, we're oh, late. We have to leave. This is the room quickly. It's kind of a mess. But look, at, can we show that on YouTube? Yeah, right? Mm. Nah. The girl's naked and she's looking into the Hollywood Hills and it's on the wall next to the view into the Hollywood Hills. But dude, should we do one of me naked with the binoculars? Uh, I don't think it'll sell like that. Excuse me. What color is your Bugatti? It's blue. <laughs> <laughs> Cue the song, cue the song. Man, we've done so many of these press conferences. We're press conference experts, bro. This is so normal, and which is so weird. Like, I, this is an odd life. Like, look around you right now, dude. When you met Anderson Silva when you were 13 years old, did you think for one second your brother would be rolling in on a Bugatti scooter with a brass knuckle diamond platted <laughs> chain? At one point, I believe you were actually gonna fight Anderson Silva, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. This is a tough fight. As his brother, I don't love it. It might be a little too tough. You grew up your entire life beating the living crud out of your little brother, Jake Paul. How does it affect your, your psyche and your mental knowing that he can now beat the shit out of you on any given day of the week? It's tough. It's tough. I go to bed crying often. On that note, he also does have quite substantially more money than you. How does that make you feel? Um, you know, just bought a house. I've heard from both your parents recently that they're just way more proud of Jake. Um, is there any, does that have any? Yeah, it has a little. All right, hold the on. first time, the problem child, Jake Paul. Yes, that's my brother. Yeah, Jake that's Paul. my brother. That's you know what? Stand up, stand up. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There's that stupid fucking robot. Phoenix. Tickets will go on sale Wednesday. Let's get him. I want to see Mike versus the robot in the next KSI undercard. <laughs> Trophies Burger Club on Fair. How you doing? You want some fries? I don't think I've ever had as many distractions in one place at the same time. Tom's on a business call with Tommy Temper. Tommy, what's next? Hey man, we're going up. That's all you gotta know. Very non-descriptive. Tommy's going up. A beautiful sight. This place, Trophies, opened today. Yeah, They're like first, today. actual first day. Yep. You want to know what restaurant this is? What? The Jewish supermarket. Back in the day, this dude killed somebody that tried to rob him, shot him in the head. Here at this spot? Here, this exact location. Can you say some stuff to the Hebrew and uh, Jewish community out there? Shalom. We're over here representing. No, 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 no. Say it in, say in Hebrew. No, no, stop. No, please, please stop. You speak you very good Hebrew. I'm, stop. I'm, say it. But I'm fucking high now. I know you're high, but just please. There's a lot of people watching it. Represent for your people, bro. Right. Bye, shalom. This place is fully based around price. It's something I don't talk about on the show a lot, but people are always asking questions. How much did it cost? How much did it cost? Fairfax High School is right across the street. So the kids come from across the street. They got the after school special: burger, fries, and a drink. Nine dollars and ninety eight cents. Everything on the menu is under 10 bucks. Double patty, American cheese, lettuce, diced onions, pickles, and Dijonese. On a potato bun, it looks nice. It looks like they got a nice little crisp, a nice little butter on it. Fresh pickle, you see that? It's not too brown. But it looks a little in and outy. Say something about the burger in Hebrew, just how it looks. What does that mean? It looks good. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, run it. 
in and out yeah. immediately. Immediate in and out, but the fresh pickle is like way better than in and out pickle, I think. This is a great burger. Try bro. Ketchup. This is good. gas. This tastes really, really good. The cheese is delicious. As a California native, I've eaten in and out my whole life. Exactly like this. Grilled onions could use some help. Maybe caramelize it a little bit more. No, those those are raw onions. They're diced onions. Why didn't you give me grill? Because I told them not to. Why would you do you that? Because you should have got diced onions. Diced onions belong on a burger. They give it a little bit more crisp and a little bit more juice to the burger. Dude, I like I like raw onions better. You like raw onions. I like grilled onions. Say how you feel about me right now in Hebrew. I need so nailed I have been zona maniac. Look here are the fries, Dave. Get close because I don't want to pull them out of the bag. Like these like shoe stringy uh, fries. Oh, also, bro, I gotta say this. I could be wrong, but I don't know you. <laughs> I don't, I don't so. think, right? Oh, you look like a um like a Fairfax uh, Jack Harlow kind of. Kind of. That's kind of what like like that. I get that shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Michigan? Fries no. are way better than In-N-Out. Wow. Obviously, because In-N-Out fries are absolute ass right trash. There. Everything about this is fresh. You're saying it's a it's a proper ting, yeah? It's a proper ting, mate. Fries are super fit, super pang. I couldn't have planned this, bro. I really thought it was just gonna be a run-of-the-mill place. This is a great fucking burger. I gotta say, Trophies 519 Fairfax, first day open. I gotta give it an 8.6, isn't it? If you get out of school, you got $10 in your pocket, walk across the street, Get a Trophies Club. Shout out to Trophies Club for being so good on day one. Let's go. All right, guys, I wanted to invite you to a sunset at my home. I think it's the first ever sunset that we've done uh, over the hills here, the canyon. You guys know this channel is usually a uh, channel about partying. As the famous Drake once said, I guess life has a way of forcing us to calm down. And that's kind of what my life has been doing over the past couple weeks. I just about cut my finger off at a dinner with Jeff Wittick last week. And then on an even more serious note, a couple weeks ago I had to get admitted to the emergency room because I had a partial bowel obstruction. Basically, my intestines kind of tangled up and blocked my uh, bowel. It's kind of a common complication when you have a spleen surgery. I had my spleen removed as you guys know when I was 16 years old but this specific one this time and this specific one this time are kind of a result of this fast paced never settle down never relax lifestyle and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today a little bit what I've been figuring out after 20 years of running around partying going crazy is that life is all about balance more than anything else more than dedication more than hard work more than any of that kind of stuff and the sooner you get better at learning your balance for your life the better and that means eating a little bit cleaner paying a little bit more attention to my gut what I put in my body. Maybe you're 16 years old watching this. Maybe you're 22, maybe you're 24, maybe you're fucking 37 like me. Take some time today, this week to think about the things that you're doing for your health. I know we usually push those things to the side in an effort to continue working or partying or raging or whatever the fuck it is that we do in this life. And listen, I'm not telling you guys not to do that shit either. We get to go around this merry-go-round one time and that's it. So live it the fuck up. But what I'm saying to you is please start to learn as early as possible about something called balance. It is very important. And as David the German says to me all the time, if we can wake up and do just 1% better today than we did yesterday, that's good enough. When I was laying on this gurney in the hallway of Cedar sinai Hospital emergency room last week with a doctor leading over me, reading me a diagnosis that I did not want to hear all because of the lack of care I've had for my body, for my physical well-being, it's not something you want to go through. I've gone through it many times in my life and uh, I would encourage you to do whatever you can to avoid that. Long story short, guys, please take care of yourselves. I love you you and I can only put on the night shift as long as the night shift audience is around to watch it. So please take care of yourselves. I love you guys. Thank you so much for once again working late with us. We are clocking out. Peace. Fam, mandem, bloods, fucking crepes. Potentially one of the greatest combat fighters in the history of combat yeah. sports. About to fight your brother. Yeah. What can we expect from this man? Mike, you had a hard time picking between KSI and Jake. Anderson Silva is obviously much better than KSI. What's your pick here? When we first heard the, the fight announced, what was your thought? Man, listen, I've heard a lot of anti-Jake Paul slander. Uh, are we worried about this fight? Are we worried about that fight? We saw Jake Paul against a, ver a very seasoned Tyron Woodley with the knockout power. Everybody was worried about that fight. Jake Paul put him down because Jake Paul is a pit bull. He is a dog. He's a an animal. Like a liver king. And I... <laughs> You've been I, eating I, testicles? I,